everyone to Kingwin Pro League 2015. We're on the last day of the pre playoffs. We're onwards to our two last matches of the day. We have Brian Kibler versus Gara, and then Dog versus Orange. Now, Brian Kibler and Gara are disputing a match for. Uh, I mean, Gara needs to get to the top five, I think. This is something he'll want to do to get in, re invited to season two. And beating Kibler would be his way to achieve that. Uh, unfortunately, Kibler is out of the uh, league so far. There's actually no way for him to get to the top five, even if he 3 0s Gara. What Kibler is playing for, though, is Savitz's spot in the top five. Um, <laughs> Savitz, if Gara uh, wins, uh, if Gara loses this match, then Savitz is guaranteed top five. If Gara wins this match, then Gara will actually uh, replace Overtake, Savitz yeah. in the top five. So um, maybe Savitz bribed Kibler here. Yeah, the, dra dog, the drama is real. <laughs> all the deck list he has. Finest. Yeah. We'll have to see. Maybe maybe uh, Savich built the decks for Kibler and he said, you know what, just play this. I'd mm -hmm. like you, I'd like you, you, you could win for me, please. Uh, I mean, he's on Liquid. You have insider information, man. Like, what are you hiding, Monk? <laughs> uh, well, we can see, uh, the viewers might not be able to see it now, but Kibler actually has a really cute dog with him right now. And I don't believe I've actually seen that dog on stream before. No. So maybe Savitz sent him a dog. It actually looks like a Timberwolf. <laughs> it actually does. So that's true. That's if true. He, if he does play Hunter, that oh no, he doesn't play Hunter. We have the lineup. It's uh, Druid, Paladin, Priest for Kibler. Whoa, what a, what a lineup. And Gar's playing Mage, Priest, and Pally. No Shaman. Oh my Whoa. God. They're both playing Priest and Paladin, and I don't even know what's going on here anymore. Yo, my whole world is flipped upside down right now. <laughs> yeah. What is a meta game, and how do I follow it? Yeah, this is pretty much the exact opposite of the metagame. Maybe if both players were playing like Paladin, Priest, and Shaman, I'd be like, whoa, my life as I know it is over. Like, this is <laughs> one, not one more what change. I expect. That was it. Druid gets cut out for Shaman, for Kibler, and Mage for Shaman, for Gar, and this would just be the ultimate. Uh, the, I, I wouldn't even understand what's going on at that point. Yeah. Well, we do have the first decks from either player. Kibler will be bringing Paladin, and Gara will be bringing that Mage. So, I have to say one thing, and we've talked about that before. Gara is an exceptionally surprising deck builder, where I don't think I've ever been able to predict what type of deck he was going to bring in a very accurate manner. Like, I can say he's going to bring, you know, a Shaman deck, a mid-range Shaman with mechs in it, possibly. But when new cards come out, I'd venture to say he's one of the first people to experiment with them. And Flame Waker came out from Mage recently, so that could be a good opportunity for him to showcase a deck that contains it. Yeah, definitely. Um, Gara, he's very willing to accept the new cards just to try them out. Like you said, he was one of the first players to play uh, Echo of Medivh, one of the first players to play Druid of the Flame, one of the first players to, um, to play... What else was there? Uh, I guess Undertaker, Are, of course. Well, there was the, the Metal Tooth Leaper. Oh, uh, yes. That didn't last very long, but on ladder, Death Star, I think, got a really good rank with it early in GVG, unless I'm mistaken. Well, to be honest, Death Star is known as, like, one of the best Hunter players in the world, and I think he's one of those players that gets high ranks with Hunter no matter what Fibonacci deck. level, right? Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much the Hunter equivalent of Fibonacci. Yeah, well, there was, uh, there was this there's a, a couple uh, that about, like, 20 years ago. They had a, they had a set of septuplets. Okay, oh, they, they were... Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like where this is going. Keep, keep, uh, keep yeah. entertaining me. And basically, they named like each of their um, these these players. They named them after like the the class they were gonna play. Okay. And pretty much all of them are class specialists. They all are good at one class. And if somehow you can merge them all together, they'd be the perfect Hearthstone player. Okay, but we we're missing two classes being covered, right? Because Septu plays don't cover the nine. Oh well, then the mother and the father, of course. Oh okay, so those are covering what priest and mage. Priest and Paladin, or... <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But maybe it was Taronda. Maybe that okay, was a priest. Okay. I, I just saved that one. <laughs> that being Paladin said, team. we're going to be moving on very soon, hopefully, to uh, the first game. Now, Paladin versus Mage from Gara. You know, I might see Flame Wakers in Gara's deck, but Paladin from Kibler is likely to be what? Do you think... I mean, Dragon Consort came out. That's all I have to say. He likes dragons. And Dragon Consort's out. Could that Did be... Have you seen one of the players who experienced the cards? I haven't seen him actually experience too well, much. We, I we have seen him do that, yeah. We, we have seen Kibler play um, Dragon Druid before, even before Blackrock Mountain came out. And in fact, I might... 
suspect that Kibler might just be bringing three dragon decks mm -hmm. to this tournament because oh, to be honest yeah. for him it doesn't really matter um, if he wins or loses here so he might as well show off with dragon druid dragon paladin and dragon priest and those three classes are actually like if you disregard rogue which is also a good candidate those three classes not only fit the play style that he's experimented with on stream but they're also really good at playing dragon decks like druid dragon works at oh, mm -hmm. wait it can work. Paladin yeah. Dragon. Uh, Paladin Dragon seems to be, you know, Dragon Consort enables that deck, and Ysera being a very greedy card, Crow Magus as well, can be uh, can make that archetype more viable. And Dragon Priest is something that Kibler played uh, quite a bit in the past, so not impossible. I actually yeah. like the Dragon Priest. I've been experimenting with it, although it hasn't really worked out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> I will get it. Maybe. Yeah. It's had a lot in the deck, and then I think it got to top. 20-ish, so that's yeah, pretty good. that's right. Yeah, Zedalot plays Priest exclusively at this point, I think. You know, Zedalot might be the um, Death Star of Priest. Yeah, I, I think that, that might be that. Yeah, I can agree with that. I, Although, I, I will say that he tends to play more of the uh, the minion-heavy Priest rather than the Control Priest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even back when like everyone was playing Control Priest, like he never got into it. He was just playing his own style of Priest with Undertakers, Zombie Chows, and... Um, Death Rattle Priest. Yeah, every Death Rattle, pretty much. All about the tempo, essentially. Like, every single time I see him play Priest, his decks are cutting Shadow or Death, at least a one-up. Very often they do. So, like, a lot of the core cards they do expect to see in Priest get cut out, and novel concepts. Like, I remember him back when he was pretty much the only player playing Velen. Like, Prophet Velen was unplayed, and I mean literally considered one of the most unplayable cards in the game, and he just played Priest with it, and it was just like an, a way to finish off games against Handlock, yeah. Warrior. Exactly. Prophet Villain, I remember um, also with Mind Blast mm -hmm, yeah. as well, and of course Holy Smite and Holy Fire. That Pretty was amazing. Yeah, it's been a while though since those decks have come up. Maybe one day we'll see them cycle in again. For the time being, we're waiting on Gara and Kibler to start their match. Now, do you think Gara brings a mech mage or more of a tempo? Because, I mean, there are like 17 mage archetypes right now. Well, he has been playing freeze mage as well. Yeah, he has. In various tournaments in the, mm -hmm. in the past. Last time I saw him, I think he played freeze mage on KPL. Yeah, I want to see Flame awesome. Waker. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Flame Waker. I agree. So I was playing with a Gara before Flame Waker time and then... Um, I just assumed they will be playing Mech Mage, in, but instead he brought the Script Lust Mage, the Tempo one. It was kind yeah. of weird. All right. Well, the first game is about to begin, of course. Uh, it's going to be uh, Freeze, Freeze Mage. Mage. Wow, Freeze Mage and Paladin. And with the perfect two legendaries and Gara's oh. hand already set up. But that's a lot of beatdown coming from Kibler. That's a huge Possibly. beat down. Possibly. Yeah. Because the the knife juggler first turn might be actually a mistake. Oh. <laughs> Maybe, <mind>. not. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. It didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, just the earlier you play the Doomsayer, the more likely it is for your opponent not to have an answer. For example, the uh, equality. Mm -hmm. Or owl. Every the paladin that's safe play one owl. I remember it was a huge debate about Owl and Spellbreaker, and I think Owl won the, the race, like, by a long shot. That debate got shut down pretty quickly. Yep. Well, the thing in Paladin is, you can always, if you just use Owl, you can almost fit, always fit in a Hero Power as well. Yep. As mm -hmm. opposed to playing the Spellbreaker, right? So yeah, it'll be still, like, kind of 3-2 instead of 4-3, Just 4-3, uh, yeah. That can be also buffed later on to 3 if you use Dude Master. So Gar plays a mad scientist and pings out the shield mini bot. So he's basically playing around the um, potential draws of secrets later on, which might be painful, and also not enabling the muster for battle weapon to kill a blue hoarder. Well, that's gonna be two secrets developed already. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Yeah, even though uh, Gara started with Alexstrasza and Archmage Antonidas in his opening hand, which are two creatures you might want later on, but aren't too useful early on, I think uh, his hand has just been perfect. Like he has, he has the like loot hoarders, he has his mad scientist, he has the draw cards, and he has like an appropriate number of freezes for um, the amount of pressure that Kibler is putting on the board. Yeah, but the amount of pressure Kibler is putting on the board seems just insanely high at the moment. 
I mean, look at the piloted piloted Sky Golem, Double Sludge Belcher, Doctor Boom, and the Lay on the Hands for the inevitable Alex Jawza. Yeah, I have to say, like, early game he's curved out really well, but it's really going to be the late game with uh, all the cards like you said, piloted uh, Sky Golem, Doctor Boom, and eventually the Lay on Hands that are are really going to be difficult for Guard to deal with. But you know what? I like a game where both players are drawing well, and it just mm -hmm. shows the full strength of both players' decks. Well, Gar is gonna have. I think Gar's combination, like his use of the Doomsayer, will probably consist of a turn eight, like using the Blizzard as a Frost Nova, perhaps. I think in most cases, this is what I would expect, but. Very likely, especially if he uses the Ice Block here. But he might end up just playing it next turn if he top deck something. This will. Something to stall, maybe. Emperor Thorison would make this hand. Just very, very strong. <laughs> like, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> the the monk mentioned how Gilgara has been dealing with this the aggression very well and he's been drawing very well. But one thing I have to keep in mind, one thing we have to keep in mind, that Gara really doesn't have burn spells. He has, he has Antonidas, but Antonidas itself isn't really burn spell. I think it's for Alex, Alex Trucks on turn 9 is amazing, but he, does, he's, he doesn't have any fireballs or combo cards in his hand, like Ice Lances. So it might be actually difficult for him to burst their opponent down. I think the Sky uh, Golem is going to give him a headache because oh, yeah. two, the two unremovable minions, <clears throat> like your AoE doesn't accomplish almost anything, sadly. Mm -hmm. Just hoping that you drink to Frost Nova, I guess. Fireball, that's one of the cards you can have. Oh, he could go. He could try to go for an all-in on Archmage with Alex eventually, but I think it might be a bit too slow for what he's trying to accomplish here. Yeah, that Elder oh, is actually a pretty huge draw as well because mm -hmm. uh, before that he actually didn't have a way to deal with the inevitable inevitable Alex Strazel. You could ignore it for a turn because you just because you have a taunt and you also have Belser. I don't think Alex Trezza would be a problem. Yeah, you would probably lay on hands anyway. The thing is, like, if Gar had a perfect hand, he could go for Alex, and if only the Elder was used, then that would be like a Fireball, Frostbolt, Frost, like Fireball, Fireball, Frostbolt, and that would be the end of it. Well, the question is, does Kibler play Dr. anything Seven. more than this? <laughs> does he play Doctor Seven or does he not? Like, the Gibber is perfectly question. content. Oh, God. A bit oh, wow. late to the party, mates, but... A little bit. Wait, is there any argument of playing Doomsayer first, by the way? Probably not. To eat the bombs? I don't think so, because you really want yeah. it to go off, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the Emperor looming... Oh, no. One damage. One damage short. Actually, Emperor is... Yeah. One damage off lethal on the Doomsayer. <laughs> Do you play Emperor on this board just to get yourself a 7 mana lay on hands with a 3 mana true silver to make sure you can curve in everything on the same turn and deal with possibly the Alex's attack with Aldor? I don't think you need to because Imperius is one of, the, one of the, those cards, the Freeze Mage. If you play it, you, your opponent has to kill it. So yep. there could be a burning removal spell on it instead. Stunt that instead of now just playing it and hope that you draw the best. Yeah. This is actually be a really good position for Gara because. With an empty board going into the next turn, Alex Straza will be able to deal a lot. There's a four drop, but it's not necessarily going to be the biggest threat. Yeah, unless it's like a pit lord or a Dune Mole <laughs> Shaman. Dune Mole Shaman, yeah. Dune Mole Shaman. Well, was it with you that we casted a game? The Dune Mole Shaman came out, and that was just game over. Yeah, I, yeah, it was uh, with me and. I remember Savitz got wrecked by it. Yeah, it was a control warrior that just had no answers at all. Yeah, exactly. What a sad day that was. Hero power, hero power. Not that I believe in it. What about a Stone Splinter Trog or the Brock Jaw Trog? I don't know. Oh, well, that's not quite. That didn't quite hit the mark. Oh, Gar's got. Oh my god. Near lethal, if not lethal. But now Kibler is going to have to find an immediate answer to this. I'm gonna be biased, but I, I really did like the Emperor last turn. I guess I'm just boring like that. Well, I can play it this turn. And still, Eldor or kill that. 
uh, yeah, kill the elf. You're, so. Yeah. Do you live though? Fireball, Frostbolt, Ice Lance, that's 15 damage. By one, right? Yeah, you'd be on one health and then you die to a ping, so you're dead. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. Let's just say it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He, it's game, hmm. isn't it? Unless he goes for Aldor, Sludge Belcher, and then attack phase to get a bit of health. I think that's the only play he has. We'll in the games. No, I don't or think not. Yeah. Do it. No. GG. Wait, no, that's okay. not enough damage, right? Is it not? Fireball, Frostbolt, and Ice Lance is only uh, 13 Oh, damage. 13, yeah. He's actually 3 off. I calculated 4-5 from Blood Mage down. That was her. I'm too used to seeing that happen, and I just figured it was lethal. Yeah. Thanks, Nox. No problem, man. No I took problem. your word for it, man. We all we all look dumb in the same boat. Well, he can still pyroblast now. And then win the next <laughs> Ain't no problem. Turns. Yep, no problem. He with can that. pyroblast. He can uh, he can even archmage into frostbolt ice lands here. The possibilities Thanks. are just endless. I mean, yep. if you pyroblast face, even if Leon hands comes out, like in the worst case scenario, Leon hands plus attack from True Silver, that's going to restore a total of ten health. So he's still stuck at sixteen, isn't he? Yeah, but then uh, he can lay on hands here and then top deck a Lothab, which might just win him the game. Actually, Gara may be able, like, may not be able to do this. It depends. Th does the eye block get popped here? I don't think it does, right? Yeah, it doesn't. So I think Gara's going to be able to go for the Archmage play, then Fireball, Fireball, Fireball. Yeah, there's just no way. He has to go for the lay on hands here. Is there anything you could top deck? I don't um, think so. Or another secret. lay on hands, an anti heal bot if his deck runs any of those. I mean, it's not impossible. Oh, no. uh, but... Seal of Light. Right. Oh, well. <laughs> seal of Light. How sick would Seal of Light be here? I've seen him play it, and the first time I saw Kibler play Pally, he had a Seal of Light in. First deck I've ever seen from him had a Seal of Light. It's not impossible. Not Didn't it also have most likely in humility instead of. <laughs> Instead of the Eldors. I mean, alright, Eldors and... Didn't also have Kodos, I guess. So Wait. very old school deck, right? Yeah. Is it possible that there might be a disconnect here? Cause yeah, I no way it would take less than one split yeah. second to lay on hands. Lay on hands is like by far the obvious play here. And yeah. Kibler is chatting. So. Oh, there might have been a disconnection mm. happening here. Now, Gara's gonna just get the win, I'm guessing. I think either way he was winning this. Yeah. I can't see I, a way in which Kibler won, like, could come back, even with Leon Hands. Would Lothab have even been enough? So let's assume he gets even, Fireball from Leon Hand on and um, anti kill, but he will have yeah. return lethal. So he needs, Kibler needs to take something more, yeah. more yeah. than just anti kill, but he needs to top deck two anti kill to survive three turns. Or he needs to top deck uh, perhaps a Lothab into anti kill. Into anti kill, yeah, oh, back yes. to back. That would be like the best way. But I don't know if he's even running the heal bot, right? It's not exactly. exactly the most popular card in Pally. They've already got enough tools to hand to survive that this not really run. We'd have to see the deck list, but I think we can make an educated guess that Garo was gonna win this either way. Yeah, essentially. Um, there's like he would have to both be running. He did have to be running two anti kill bots, which is extremely unlikely. Or he would have to run Lothab and anti kill bot. And which get is them. Also, somewhat, somewhat not likely, but more likely. And also get them both in a row. Yeah, with, on three uh, cards. Hands, exactly. Which is somewhat unlikely as well. All right, well, we're being told that Brian game, Brian's game keeps disconnecting, so we're going to have to wait a little wait bit. Wait a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Noxious how you almost read that exactly word for word. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, what is what is grammar? Gram her. <laughs> Brian game. Because I'm used to seeing like Brian Killer gaming. I'm like, Brian game, that sounds completely natural. Do we know you? Sorry, you cut Skype off issue. uh, some Skype issues? Yeah, we have some of them, but that's usually okay. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. I would have at least liked to see what came out of the top of the deck from Kibler. Especially since a lot of people do run Lothab and yeah. anti kill but like, Well, the thing is, he had four chances to draw into, or not, yeah, four chances to draw into either Lothab or anti kill bot, and then he had five chances to draw into his second card. Yeah, it wasn't like a very high chance, but it yeah. was possible. All right, well, we're getting word from the admins here that we should be getting updates as to what's happening. Quite an important uh, match. Probably like one of the matches of the day that's 
actually determines who stays in the league and who doesn't stay in the league. Yeah, so Gara, Gara wants to win this. If only to dethrone, like he wants to dethrone Savic from the top five. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the that's the that's his ticket to get into the reinvitation for season two. Either way, none of them is getting to the top three. The playoffs are out of the range of yeah. either Gara or uh, Kibler. But do we know if we got the confirmation that Gara in fact has won the game? Is that counted? Um, I'm actually curious to know that. I'm assuming yes, it's happened in the past. Yeah, and we the assume game it, was but underway, yeah, that means so. let's give a word for it. Yeah, right? more, we're going to wait on the word for that. All right. Uh, Gara, well, okay. All right, yeah, we, we did get confirmation that Gara, of course, he won the last game. You know, I uh, there's a question on Reddit right now. I don't know, that's like a complete sidetrack, but why isn't War Golem a 7-8 for 7? <laughs> Aha! 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 For seven, nine, for seven. It, it would be a Doctor Boom counter. Yeah, you could actually eat yeah. up a Boom Bot with it. And also, well, you know, Force Tech Max is kind of like a Doctor Boom counter as well. Yeah, I mean, you look at Force or Tech unless Max. Unless you and... play it first, uh, unless you play second, the Boom Bots yeah. will. Also, Force Tech Max is probably one of the best cards for PVE. Yeah, it is. It is great for PVE and in arena. I think it's the biggest bomb I've ever played. Like, if I have a force tank max in arena, it's ridiculous. Like, the value of it is just absurd. But oh, yeah. in constructed, so it's usually, more like yeah, it's it's, killing five drop or even up to war golem. Like, it'll get like <laughs> a three for one in general. Like, it's ridiculous that card in constructed. <clears throat> if you get to turn eight, you know that's a big deal. And if you can dodge the awkward arena, I got the beast in my sights, which does which does happen sometimes. Or the more likely polymorph. I wish either Paladin or Priest won the first so that we can talk about matchups and how it would be favored. But since the mage was taken out of Gara's list, we have Priest Paladin for Gana versus the Kibler's Druid Paladin and Priest. So two of them still overlap, so it's all just gonna be depends on, on that mirror matchup. Yeah, it's gonna come down to Paladin and Priest just. Well, uh, I, I have to ask you guys something. Yeah. Um, between Paladin and Priest, because we're probably going to see that matchup, Paladin versus mm -hmm. Priest, which of these decks do you think is favored? And does it matter, does it change if one of them, or if the Priest is either Light Bomb Priest or more of the standard Control Priest? The Priest is heavily favored. I would, not not as heavily as one might think, but I would say I would give at least 60% to Priest. Yeah, I would at be in the same boat. No, I think 60 both to 70% well. would be minimum I give to Priest against Bob. And it doesn't really matter what version they play. They got so many, so many, and it doesn't almost matter. Um, unless, unless I guess, Pong um, goes for old Dude Master turn 5 and 6, and Priest doesn't have anything to deal with it. That does happen, but Quartermaster has been <laughs> cut out of a lot of lists. Um, yeah. People keep the Muster, one, but they yeah. cut out Quartermaster. Even the first one, sometimes you just don't see any of them at all. Oh. Well, then, let me ask you the follow-up question. What Priest is more favored, the Light Bomb version or the Control version with Alcanai Circle? Control version. I'd say Control version is generally better. Why is that? In Mirror Match. In the, in the mirror light match? Light Bomb one often costs a Dostil, and that's one of the things that's very important in Mirror Matchup. No, I, I'm talking... I'm asking about the priest versus the oh, still paladin versus the paladin. Match. Okay, versus the paladin. All right. Um, that's actually curious. I don't even know that either of them has a bigger edge. Uh, the one that plays mind control for Tyrion, possibly if it's that slow. Light bomb priest. I mean, the death lord isn't that big of a deal in general. You got if you play shadow madnesses, I think you're better off. Cabal shadow priest as well. I'd venture to say the Colento type priest, like the control priest, is generally a bit better, but I don't think it matters too yeah, much. Yeah, I, I really don't think the variance the same is that matchup, big. Maybe up to like five percent different in win rate. Um... Either way, <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. control priest. That maybe because I'm too used to playing it, whereas I'm a little more uncomfortable with the uh, light bomb one. Yeah, we'll do that. That's more AoEs too, because mm -hmm. I'm relies on about three AoEs, whereas a control priest will rely on four to five. Four. Um, five if you consider double pyromancer. Yeah. All right, so... So waiting on updates as to what's happening with Brian Kibler at the moment. His connection doesn't seem to have been reestablished. Does, do we know if he has a sky vicious or the battle? Nah, no, it's the battle net problem. I think his heartstone keeps disconnecting. He's got a druid yeah. and priest, 
and Paladin left. Garus lost his mage. Did mage really? I, I guess it had a really good matchup against everything that Killer brought. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So Pretty I think much. it would have gotten well, except for the druid, perhaps, unless Kibler is running the uh, the dragon. dragon druid. In which case, Freeze <laughs> Mage still gets a really good play there. Since the druid is kind of weak against the pre uh, Paladin and okay versus priest, depends on actually what kind of Gara has. Uh, depends on what Gara. Depends on what kind of priest Gara is running. Gara could be really, really favored already. Yeah. So we're being given word that Brian's going to be playing his Druid next against Gara's Priest. So that could be tough for Gara. We did see Kalento pull off uh, an amazing win earlier. Yeah. But this is not the typical way this, go this goes. I think especially if this Druid is uh, a Dragon Druid, Priest is going to be heavily favored. Because Priest has a lot of ways to deal with dragons. Like Shadow Word Death <laughs> is the obvious one. Yeah, and Blackwing Technician is Shadow Madness, vulnerable. Um, a lot of tools in the Priest Arsenal lend themselves well. The only thing is that Druid's minions tend to have too much health for the Priest to address directly. Very Depends often. on what kind of dragons, right? Because he, he could have just brought the Twilight Drakes. <laughs> Did we see Twilight Drakes last time we saw the uh, Dragon Druid? Because I remember Azure Drakes were there, Blackwing Techs as well. Um, Isera was in there, I remember... Um, Alex Chaza wasn't his druid, if I recall correctly. I'm just not sure if he brought Twilight Drakes at all. I mean, Hungry Dragon's gonna make its way in for sure. If oh, that's yeah. a dragon druid, like that's a guaranteed thing. I think I might bring it if I'm actually running Dragon Druid, because Druid don't really have a super consistent draws, so you might as well just put in more dragons to make it work, to make it up for it. I mean, it was a it was a deck. It's a deck that feels like you know how Ram Druid plays, where you have the mm -hmm. wild growth or you don't. And if you mm -hmm. don't have the wild growth, you end up just falling behind really, really fast, and you rarely recover. That's kind of how the uh, the playstyle felt. It's hit or miss. You get the wild growth, you're gonna snowball out of control with dragon plays, or if you don't have it, then suddenly you have absolutely no way to get the tempo. Oh, okay. That's kind That's of how it played. So off. it's a heavy, heavy deck. Yeah, very heavy, very much so. Chromagus too. Have we seen I, anything like this list before, like with Crow Bagdus? I don't think anything's like that has been published. It, it just came unless, out, right? Unless Kibler has streamed it before. I wouldn't be surprised. I know this. The, the moment Dragon Consort came out, that got played. Like he played Dragon Consort the minute it was released, or some, 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 something along those lines. It was. So are I, you saying that he is actually world first at beating that wing? Because he would have had to beat it within a minute. You know, I have a druid that. Super, super ramp heavy druid deck with uh, um, Chromagus. No, not Chromagus. Oh, hang on, let me. Let me I'm disappointed. <laughs> but uh, pretty much all nine drops you can think of, and um, what's the drop? What's what's the nine drop that heals the thing? That heals something, Alex Chala? Heals everything. Oh, Tree of Life. Okay, yeah. Tree of Life. Oh wow, all right. Just super ramp. Heavy druid deck, and I can I can I can probably make the druid the dragon version of it because I already have four or five dragons. Yeah, legends. that's that's pretty much what you end up doing when you build the deck. So that's pretty much what Brian was running last last I saw the deck list. Um, it was really heavy, very you know wild growth dependent, which is a big weakness in a really greedy meta game that might fly. But you know the face hunter meta was exactly what he was running into last time he played that. So that was just uh, it, it didn't feel like it was tailored to the specific meta he was tackling. Mm -hmm. All right, so we hope that Kibler has resolved his issues. We're looking at the client, and there's a possibility that he's going back in. Yeah, um, there's apparently some battle net issues right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, not just with Kibler, but just overall with the entire client. Yeah, uh, that's been going on for the past week and a half or so. I've had massive yep. lag playing games. Like I've I've taken 15 seconds to get a move done. 15. That's pretty quick. See, two days ago I was playing. I was playing right now when I was playing Constructed. I was playing Constructed at the start. Then it took me about 30 seconds to make each move. So I had minions and I summoned a minion. I attacked with two of them. And then I couldn't use a hero power. Because <laughs> then it already. Uh, please, Leonard, please. Yeah, this is a bit like when you have to play into like Sludge Belcher and whatnot. I think for for three days or so, the best tech card was Nozdorimu. Like, for just like legit three days straight, I think Nazdormu could have been the best tech card you could bring in any deck you make. <laughs> like, it's a metagame call based on Blizzard yes. server status. <laughs> 
just you just read into that and then just like just that. like Nozomu for Miracle Rogue, right? Yeah, exactly. You want you want to mess up Miracle Rogue? You play Nozomu, and they're like, "Oh wait, I have no saps." Good game. <laughs> yep. All right. So, hoping for an update here. We apologize for this, by the way. This is not really much. There's not much we can do about that. It's on Blizzard's end. If there's a longer downtime for the servers, then I think we're gonna have to take a, take a little break while it subsides. But it's not happening yet. Kind of an important match, kind of unfortunate for this match to get interrupted because, of course, uh, it is kind of a deciding match for at least one of the players. And it also, really is. Yeah, deciding match for Gaara and also a deciding match for Savits. Yeah, Savits is waiting to see how Gaara does because his spot in the top five is being threatened by the possibility that uh, Gaara wins the match. All right. Um, so, so uh, I guess I'm doing a break. I'm I'm doing a not a break, sorry, but a quiz. You're gonna get trivia because apparently we have to find. Uh, All right, Noxious. I'm really excited for this. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna quiz you on. Um, let me well, just get into my Hearthstone client to find proper questions. Can, can you even get into your Hearthstone client? Is the real question. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay, which two cards show up when you type help in the chat? Actually, okay. wait. There's there's more of them now, but like you Leroy could... Jenkins, yeah. um, Anixia. Yeah. And the third one. Yeah. Okay. I thought the Leroy was not it. Um, Twilight Whelp. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Well, that was. Right. You, you're missing one, I believe. Oh, there's four. Yeah, there's four. <laughs> Masad, do you have any uh, contributions to this quiz? Don't you log in your no, client to check? I actually don't. You don't? I actually thought the Leroy was did not pop up. Leroy does, yeah, because it shows up with it shows whelps, right? You got yeah. Leroy, Anixia, you got Twilight Whelp, and there's one last one. Like, is I'm it obvious? Sort of, yeah. Um, like it's not a helper if that that that's what you're looking for. It's really confusing. Well, is it uh, is it a dragon? Sort of. Sort of a dragon. Okay. <laughs> is, well, it, is, it a, is it like Black Wing Technician or something? No. Uh, no, no, no. Am I on the right track? Yes and no, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. The egg. egg. Yes, dragon yeah, the egg. There you go. Ah, oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. Took us a while. All right. Um, now, if you type... If you type... Okay, wait, wait. Which three cards contain the the nature in their name? Force of, Force nature. of nature. Mark of Mark nature. Of nature. Yeah. Oh my god, we're in sync. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're, you're just always. Well, it, one the, step the, 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 other, the other one is like sort of nature, but not quite. Like it's got it's got the a good chunk of it in the name. Naturalize. Naturalize. There you go. Okay. All right. Got it. You. <laughs> you what? Oh, no, it, it, there is a nature, is it? Isn't there? Yeah, or yeah, or there I'm is. just lying. All right. So I'm gonna have to ask you a really. This is gonna be a really sick question. Sort of. <laughs> How many cards mention tree end? Soul of the forest. Oh my god. Um, poison seeds. Um. Uh, force of nature, obviously. Yeah. Is that? Is there any more? What did you say? Yeah, you, you mentioned three, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're missing one. I'm missing one, okay. Oh, Scenarius. Yeah, this guy in the chat gives you oh. the answer. That, that's right, admins. Just give him the answers, all of them. Dude, I, I, I would have <laughs> got, got that by myself. I'm sure you would have gotten it. So which ancient isn't a tree? Which ancients aren't trees, rather? What do you define as a tree? Oh, ancient of lore and ancient of war, they're trees, right? You've played you've played Night Elves in Warcraft 3. You've played your fair share of that. Alright, ancient of wind. What? what? <laughs> Never mind Warcraft 3 monk. We're out of this one. Right. So which which three ancients aren't trees? Oh, ancient brewmaster? Right, that's one. Um ancient mage? Yes. And what's the last one? I can't believe you thought of those two this fast. Those were the hard ones, like. Okay, what's the easy one then? 
Masad? Masad, I feel like I'm doing all the work here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's 6 40 a.m. here, man. <laughs> I'm kind of slow. Oh my god. Ancient. Uh... One more ancient. Come on, man. It, it's in the metagame. Like, not not right now, but like, it's pretty it's pretty common. Like, it's legit. Really Watcher. played. Yes, yeah, ancient, ancient Watcher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. See, it's just that you usually don't keep track of the name of it. All right. So, um, good job, Masan. You contributed. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, which card is an objectively worse fireball? Mortal Strike. Yep, got it. It's too easy, I think. That one is way too easy, right? Yeah. Okay. I have to make like. I was gonna say wah, but I couldn't think of a name. Which 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 question can I ask you that you're not gonna you can not gonna get right away? That's actually really tough. Okay, name. Oh my god, no, I can't do that. This is gonna be way too tough. No, dude. Or is it? All right, okay. Name as many one cost. Oh my god. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> name all the one cost buffs that you can put on a minion directly, like not avenge, right? Okay. Power word shield. Uh, that's the obvious one. Um, div Divine Spirit? Is that the one that... No, Divine Spirit is a two drop. Okay, what's the one drop called? Um, Divine Spirit, Inner Fire. Right, Inner Fire. Inner got Fire. It. Got okay. it. Let's see. Blessing of Might. Blessing of Might, Blessing of Wisdom. Right, that's two. There's not many, I remember. Because uh, I remember oh, looking at this parts. for... Does this spare parts count? No, they don't let's count. Just, let's okay. not bother with that. That's fine. Yeah. So I can't think of their names. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I know all the spare part names. What's going to help? Uh, Masan, this is... Okay, we're going to take a break. Masan, name all the spare part names. <laughs> <laughs> Monk, Monk is like, I'm taking a break here, man. I'm out. All right, so spare part uh, names. Go ahead. Switch. Swish? <laughs> what? Swish? Swish? <laughs> okay, Swish, Swish. I don't know okay. what kind of Switch it is. It's Switch. Well, what does okay. it does? What, what, is, what does it does? <laughs> what does it do? We're, we're all really tired here. It swaps the attack and health, obviously. But I don't know what, what, what Switch is that. It's not Arcane Switch. It's not a forwarding Switch. Yeah, it's not a forwarding Switch. What type of Switch Sw is it? Swapping Switch? <laughs> Person. Rever reverse swapping switchers. I don't know. Reversing switch. All right. Next <laughs> Reversing one. switch. All right. Find another one now. I believe in you, Masan. Oh my god. One, one more. I, I know what they exactly look like. I just don't know their names. Okay. Never what's the name of the one that gives plus one health? <laughs> I'm gonna narrow it down. All right. <laughs> Masan, this is this is actually the uh, the caster quiz. Okay. Oh my god. Like you should know these. Uh, to, to graduate from the school of the caster. Oh, right, right, right. It's armor something. Armor plating? Yes. Oh, good job. Nailed it. All right. The plus one attack now. Oh, my God. It's uh, something blade. Hang on. Hang on. What the what? hell? Hang on. Where are you logging on to? What what blade is it? Okay. But it's not a blade, obviously. <laughs> it's a blade that spins around and around. We... It's a spinning blade. You were close enough. I'm going to give you a hint. <laughs> Wee! That's about it. That's the most I can do. Willing blade. Yes. yes. <laughs> there you go. You oh, got it. All right. I actually what? did not know that. Name another. <laughs> name another uh, spare part. Or uh, tell me the effect of another spare part. You got the reversing okay. switch. You got the armor plating and the whirling blades. Now give me another. Oh, effect. actually, first of all, Masan, how yeah. many spare parts are there? Seven. Okay, that's good then. He knows it. Seven. Yes. I so know. there's plus one attack, plus one health, attack swap, attack and health swap. What is like another one? There's a time rewinder. Oh, good. That's oh, wow. Name. Good job. That was like straight oh, up yes. the name, not even the that effect. That was straight up the name. I can pull it off out of my head, I guess. I can just force it. Up, yank it right. what, what are the other effects, Masan? Dun, 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 dun. You want to call a friend? <laughs> Do we get a call chance here? Wait, how many like, did we call? You got called four. four. You yeah. got four. There's a conceal one. What's the conceal clock one? Clock something. Visible clock. Probably is not. 
The clock one cloaking, is time cloaking, uh, huh? The, the the clock one is time rewinder. Yeah, the one no, looks no, like no, a the clock. cloaking one. The... Yeah, you you have it. Like cloak is a part of the name. I, I the, the prefix is really tough to figure out though. I guess it's a car that's not that reliable. Oh man! It doesn't hit hit the ring, man. It doesn't hit the. It bell. doesn't even ring a bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no way that's gonna do anything. Okay, what about the taunt one? You know the taunt one? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't I don't know what it's called. I, I know what it does. Okay, yes. wh what about the freezing one? What's the name? Cooling... Emergency coolant. Wait, emergency coolant. Emergency yeah, coolant. Yeah, that's it. You got it. All right. I mean, you're missing two, but, like, I'm gonna tell you, like, Rusty Horn's the taunt one, and Finicky oh. Cloakfield. All right. Finicky Finic Cloakfield. All right, let's let's go back to the one that buffs. Yeah, one that buffs. So you had uh, power shield, inner fire, blessing wisdom, blessing of might. Um, you're missing a few more. You're missing. Could you tell me how many? Could you tell us how many? So, I remember there were, there were like three or four classes that had buffs. So yeah, if you talk about buffs, like I'm not considering humility here, right? Because that's a debuff. Like I won't I won't consider it like relevant in this specific case. So you have in uh, paladin. Cold, cold blood. Yeah, cold blood is one. All right, you're missing one in paladin. You had blessing of might, blessing of wisdom. You're missing one in paladin. Oh man, Hassan, help me out here. The divine shield one. I don't know what it's called. Oh, um, hand of protection. Yes. All right. God, see, Hassan has the the yeah. concept of them, and then you just have the name. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sweet. Hey, that, that's how. That's a teamwork right there. Yeah, right there. Um, also, power overwhelming. Is that a buff? Yeah, that's a buff. That counts. And now I believe you're missing only the one, unless I'm mistaken. Naturalized. <laughs> he just two cards. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> buff. Oh man. Okay, what other buffs are there? I can't give you the class because you'd find it right away. But corruption is not a buff because it builds its deep. Actually, there's two more. I lied. There's okay. two more. Corruption is debuff, right? Corruption is a debuff. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, paladin, priest. You've done paladin, you've done priest, and you've done rogue as well. Unless you consider conceal, but I won't, because it's just not really a, a target buff. It's more like an effect that you do. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Innervate mark of the wild. How's that work? <laughs> it's one mana. It's one mana. It's it's oh like... wow! All right, no, that that, that no. can't count. You know, if I were a boss, I'd probably throw you out of the Jeperino right now. <laughs> you're missing. Okay, you're missing two classes that you haven't even touched yet. Okay, does Shaman have anything? Think of it for one drop, I don't think. I can't think of anything that Shaman has for one mana. No? Everything's a zero or two. So let's pass Shaman. How about... What? What? Okay, what? there's... <laughs> I, I just... No, yeah, you're right. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have reacted this way. But I had to. There's a card in Shaman that you're overlooking. Silence is not it, is it? No. Well, that's the priest. Hey, it's, card. A, it's it's a buff to no no like the earth. Rock. It's a buff to ancient it's watcher. A buff to some some cards, right? It's ancient watcher. Shaman a weapon? No, it's not a weapon. The, the production is asking me. It's a like rock fighter weapon. Yes, there you go. Wait, but it's not two minion. It said two minion. It's two that, characters. Okay, okay, that, it's a character. All right, that that oh won't count. God. But you're missing one. There's one more that you're missing from a class that you haven't even touched yet. We haven't touched mage. We haven't touched warrior. Is that it? Hunter. Those three, I think we haven't touched. Yep. You haven't touched mage, warrior, hunter. Come on, man! You can do this. Mage, warrior, hunter. One, one card missing. That's it. That, 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 that one that makes the beast immune plus three attack. Oh, bestial wrath. There you go. That's the end of it. That is it. You, you, you've passed the test. All right. Team, test. nice teamwork, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have any more. Actually, I probably do. 
Legendaries with death rattle. Red oh earth. my god. Health is odd. What? Or rather, um, Sneasel <laughs> Shredder. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Sneasel Shredder. All right. You got it. That's it? The Karen, Karen, Karen is good. Karen, Sylvanas. Sylvanas. The All right. Karen. Boom, bots. The, the what, sorry? Tyrion. Tyrion forging, right? Does the boom bot count? No, the boom bot <laughs> is irrelevant. I mean, the, the, I it's a it, lesson. It, it's, in, it's in the card text for okay, death Okay, sure, level. sure. We'll make it count then. Does it? You got an extra point. Man, it doesn't. What a There's brother. quite a few of them. Like you have Sneasel Shredder, Karen, Sylvanas, and Tyrion. You're missing Wait, one. Death Rattle or the X Death Rattle? No, actually, Death Rattle. Like the, the card okay. says Death Rattle. So, the well, Rattle not Baron Rivendell. Yeah. All right, let's go through the class legendaries. You're missing. I'm gonna tell you the, num the number of them you're missing. One, two, three, Malorn. four, five. Oh, well, Malorn. Yeah, yeah Malorn. That's one. You're missing six then. Six legendaries. Oh, um, um, Fugin and Stalag. Yeah, that's two of them down. We still got four more. Okay, if you no, need Thanos. hints, Thanos. That's okay, no, that's good. Thanos, okay. Only three, mo three more to go. Only three more. So, here's a hint. Two of them have the same stat line. Not the mana cost, just the stat line. Like, they're really big and really bad. Oh, um, Major Domo Executus. Right. <gasps> That's a good one. So, how many are left? Two. Just two, okay. And I'm guessing those have the same stat line. No. <laughs> you, guess, you guess one of the two that had the same stat line. What is Major Dome Executive? A 9-7? Yes. Yeah, 9-7. Um, what else? We said Malorn. Yeah, yeah that's not did. it, though. Okay. Uh, what's a 9-7? Oh, the Beast. That's right. You're missing one now. Okay. And it's a little funky, but you'll get it. I have faith. By the way, gameplay should be going on, I think. Oh, they're starting! Oh man! <laughs> oh great! <laughs> All right. The game has actually oh, started. Man. I can't believe this. All right, it's been like it's all, I just hope it doesn't crash. By the way, the last answer was Stosh Lee. Sorry about that. All right, I, you, I, you are now safe. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> the production was like gameplay, boys. So it seems to be the um, the Death Lord deck, right? I would venture to say, like yeah. back to the game, like the uh, the Light Bomb Priest. Yeah, Light Bomb Priest. Uh, Death Lord Priest, Valen's Chosen Priest. Name it however you want. That's pretty much. They're all in the same deck, and mm -hmm. that four nine is a bit pesky. He might I have to, to keep. I have to say that awesome. Gar's deck seems pretty teched out for uh, this matchup because Black Knight is exactly what you want against Death Lords. Yeah. Well, that's Druid. Kib Kibler's deck. Oh, Kibler's okay. Druid. Okay, okay. Yeah. So then, Kibler's deck is really teched out against this. Uh... Light bomb. Yeah, but I have to say like. Because there's a wild Pyromancer in this deck, and also, um, yeah, the Circle of Healing and the Injured Blade Master, this might actually just be the, um, like, a combination of the Light Bomb Priest plus the Control Priest, and that's more in line with, like, Luffy's deck. Yeah, a combination of both styles as opposed to going all in on one of them. And, like, there's glaring weaknesses in the, um, like, the Light Bomb Priest, I feel. Like, it can be abused in many ways. Like, if you can deny something like the Valence Chosen play that was made by Gara here, a lot of the time they falter very, very fast. And they have no backup play with the Injured Blade Masters being gone. So... Uchush here, knowing that it's turn 5 Minerva. I mean, you don't want to tag into the 3 and 4 4 because all the Nova. Uh, even with the Druid... Yeah, Druid Claw and Taunt and then everything dies to all Nova, so you don't want to do that. But Shage and Hero Power kill... So that kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense, right? Although you do lose two against Holy Nova. 
How much do you really? I mean, the Holy Nova could be a problem. If you play Shade, you're overextending, but I guess you might feel like you have to. Yeah. Maybe, like, he's thinking, I better play Shade now because later on, I'll have the same problem. I'll be playing around Holy Nova the entire time. Mm -hmm. I'm, I might as well just play it now so there's less of a chance for Holy Nova. Mentioned that uh, Holy Nova technically only trades one for one. Technically, I said, yeah. because. Uh, the keeper already killed off. Uh, it didn't kill off, but it already traded with, with the zombie chai. Yeah. yeah, he silenced the zombie chai, which had buff. Which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> Velen is chosen. Oh, it's chosen. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, well, Gara's under pressure. Oh, if he plays oh, Death Lord, my. this could be really painful. This could be very painful indeed. Wouldn't you want to play? What about Akinai ping? A soul soul yeah. priest and just kill that. I think that's much ball. better. Death Lord really doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, it doesn't even need to do anything else. Like, if you play it down, you're basically sacrificing it onto the board that's existing. Mm -hmm. All right. So the shade. Give Actually, the, the swipe is not too bad. Or but Doctor you know what's Boom. even better? Yeah, Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Seven. Doctor Seven. <laughs> yeah, talk about uh, curving out and kill off the Soul Priest. Sounds rude. Because your opponent has to kill Chase somehow, one way or another. It's going to be seven. Two. You're cutting off a lot. I don't know if uh, that's just on my end. Yeah, I hear it too. All so right, yeah, a lot of a lot of the Skype. Yeah. Uh... So, do you? I mean, you have to kill a Shade, that's a given. You have to mind control a Boombot at this point, I'm guessing. Like, what else do you have that really contests the board? Well, you can uh, trade into Dr. Boom, and then Wild of Pyro... Power shield, shield and Hope. Yeah, Hope you get something. And the Wild Power doesn't die. Or you find Shadow War Death off the top, that'd also be enough. I think that's probably the best play, in fact, now that you mention it. I want to just heal that up first, then. Just heal up the... Blade Master and then go for partial Pyromancer. Okay, so you go for face then. Yeah, because I don't I, think I, I wouldn't want to attack you, just in case. No, I guess you. You could you could play Power Shield then play Death Lord straight up. Sure. Like you might be able to get yourself a, like a Keeper of the Grove that comes out from the Cabal. Um, what other minions would you ever be able to steal from the Cabal Shadow Priest if the Death Lord were to spawn it? Keeper. Oh, well, if the wild power doesn't die here, that could be a complete board clear. Oh, no. wow. The pain. <laughs> the pain. It wasn't going to be, though, because he already attacked face. Yeah, yeah, but like that could have been a clear completely, sadly. Now, Death Lord is going to feed. Is it going to be Keeper? If it is Keeper, yeah, that's going to we'll give see. Cabal Shadow Priest value. Ooh. Oh, no, oh, it's a Hunter. Hunter. Ouch. At least you get the, I guess, Holy Smited, but you're dead next turn no matter what. Turn 9, kibler has got the combo. Gara's got no way out of this one. Light Bomb actually might help. That's actually a full clear. Oh, he just concedes. So he might have cut the Light Bombs out of the deck. Yeah, we saw Valence chosen at the end there. Not enough uh, to do anything. So Gara's going to lose this. Kibler gets the win. Equalizing the series 1-1. One one. Hopefully we don't get any more uh, connection problems. So... Yeah. Kind of an anti-clockmatic game there. Our quiz took about three or four times the amount of time as that game. <laughs> well, that, that, Druid can do that sometimes, right? And I don't think Priest has an exceptionally good matchup against it, even though he might be... Even if you tech properly against Druid, I think you still get games stolen away from you. Yep. Time to Definitely. time and very often, yes. All right, so I forgot the lineup of the players at this point. I know Paladin's locked for... Uh, Paladin's still in play for Kibler. I know he's got a Priest on the back end. Which he so just... Kibler has Druid. Yes, he does have Druid. But he has yeah. Paladin Priest versus Garrus. Exactly. Paladin so it's actually, yeah. it's actually going to be Paladin Priest versus Paladin Priest remaining. That's going to be actually a, like a mirror match for the rain, remainder of the match for uh, for those guys. So uh, we see, do priest see... Priest versus Priest now. <laughs> yeah, the next matchup is actually going to be Gara with Priest and Kibler with Paladin. Yeah, I think Priest generally oh, wow. takes the game, but it, Gara's deck... Contains the wild pyros. He can, it contains a death lord. In fact, so I think it's well suited to handle like uh, paladin deck very nicely. 
Yeah, definitely agree. Only if he can get the get the Death Lord turn three, though. I think. Yeah, Death Lord late game is a bit of a liability. Actually, it's a huge liability uh, unless you've got the perfect way to counter whatever comes up. Like if you've got a really answer heavy hand, or if you have like the Alcanized Soul Priest Circle ready to hit, that's also not too bad in the late game. But you have to have it at the ready. Otherwise, you can get really punished for getting the Death Lord out. I feel like Polymer yeah. has a lot of way to deal with Death Lord, in my opinion. Has eight to four ways to deal with it. I think for all in general. But I guess they don't necessarily draw them, so. All right, so we're getting to the game shortly, and there is... Oh, wow. I just, um... I got a glimpse of something. You're going to see the starting hand very soon. Okay, it's going to be super cool. Am I going to get, like, wowed out of the game? Well, <laughs> it, it was pretty cool, to be honest, but... Come on. Let, let, let's just say, let's just say Kibler does have a heal bot and he lost his first game to the disconnect and there may have been an out in the deck we talked about it though, like the, a lot of paladins to run it so like two out of i don't know more like one out of whoa what a hand for gara what less. a hand yeah, that oh hand my is goodness pretty insane this is just an insane hand for gara Talk about a start. Wow. He's not even going to go for... Clary. Yeah, pretty much exactly <laughs> the start that uh, the priest wants because he really just wants to control the paladin board. Oh, and he's going to get a card draw here. Uh, There's no true little does he know. as well. There isn't. Little does he know. Yeah. Very little does he know. This is as good as it gets, I think, for a priest in a position like this. Exactly. Especially with this kind of priest that relies on getting board control early. It's this type oh of priest, God. it doesn't do a good job of oh. getting back on the board. Oh no, ouch. Oh, no, don't this do is it. gonna uh. hurt. Oh, this is just horrendous. What is that you, gonna you be? Get... A circle of healing at this point? I, I'm almost expecting it at this, like, uh. Ouch. At so, least you get to kill off the. No star cleric next turn pot very actually likely, I have right? to ask a question. Do you really wild pyro? No, I, I don't think you no. wild pyro master here. You just attack in and heal, I think. Yeah. Attack and still heal what you get. See what you get. Maybe you get circle then <laughs> you draw three, I guess. If you circle you actually wipe the board again. It's just nuts. This wouldn't be fair. Thought steal, one of the most important cards in the control versus control matchup. I think you also keep the wild power answer here. Mm -hmm. He's thinking so of he using Holy Smite to prevent the turn four quartermaster. I, I think he's gonna have to go for the turn four quartermaster. Or, or Belcher, Belcher, I guess. Well. Yeah, Belcher's okay. It's just that you give more card draw to your opponent if you play Belcher, because he's gonna get to heal the uh, zombie chow. Possible to no. It could be worse. He's played one muster, so that's already one of the combo pieces for Quartermaster out. But do you really want to coin out the good master here? I don't even know if he runs two or one, but if you only run one, you definitely don't want to. It's you. Yeah, it's <laughs> it hurts terrible. to use it. Yeah. Yeah, but it you do hurts. also have to consider that the North Shark Cleric is probably the like biggest the threat. Most, yeah. yeah. The, biggest threat and the, probably one of the most important cards in the entire game for this matchup. Mm -hmm. It's like, it is the, th it's kind of like against Handlock when they cannot remove the Northshire Cleric and they give you the, like, free reign over card draw. It's really meaningful. Oh, wow. Akinai, Light of the Naru trades. Ooh. And then you could, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I, I don't know if I like that, actually. It's a bit weak to follow up plays. Mm -hmm. Week to consecrate. Consecrate, yeah. Or is it actually? It, the thing is, it is, but the, you get the initiative back, so it's mm -hmm. really not that big of a deal if you end up going for that play. I guess he'll just heal it up and just kill the three-two, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's in the hillbud. 
Galar's playing Holy Fire. That's a card that's been cut out of most, if not all, priest lists at this point. Yeah, basically, uh, the rationale there is like, the anti heal bot is better anyway, so why am I running Holy Fire? Yeah, I just thought so, anti heal bot. What do I need this for? Yeah, Gar's like, ah, oh, that's a good idea. Why, why didn't I put this in my deck? So I think Holy Fire might be a, a perfect response to Emperor Thorson. Like, I don't I say perfect, but it's not, you know, going to give you the initiative back. But it's an additional thing. Yep. You don't have to waste, quote unquote, one of your Shadow Word deaths on a five drop, on a six drop, that mm -hmm. is. It looked like the Garas running Strength Meister. So the 2 3 is going to be almost as, uh, as good as it gets without Death Lord. On Kibler's side, which you're unlikely did. <laughs> Uh, yet again, like a lot of options here. Um, the thing that jumps out to me the most here is Consecration, but I feel like maybe in this matchup you want to get more value from the Consecration with an Equality Consecrated board clear. Yeah, I like Shield and Minibot with Powdered Shredder, but maybe I'm an Idealist. It's all about how slow you want to play this matchup. Yeah, you can go really slowly and hope Paladin doesn't have answers, but he's drawn, like, the Priest doesn't have answers. The thing is, he's drawn so many cards, you have to assume everything you do is going to get countered up until the point where you get a possible tempo swing back in your favor. How about Knife Juggler, Shield in Minibana, and Hero Power? Sure, that works too. It's more vulnerable to but AoE, kind of... but it's yep. just... So I guess Shredder in Hero Power also kind of works. Not playing into the second Cabal. If there were one. I mean, I I, at first, I really didn't like this play because of the Menace. It would be <laughs> pretty terrible. So but does Gara, Gara have, have a really good play with Wild Pyro at all? Does he have one? Um, Actually. He might have one with Akinai and Light of the Naru. Like, Akinai Light of the Naru Ping takes care of most of the stuff. I think I'd rather... Actually, uh, Wild Pyro, Akinai... Oh yeah, he's just gonna go for the Holy, Holy Smite Fire. Clear on everything. Alright. Holy Smite. <laughs> Holy Clear. Holy Clear, yes. <clears throat> well met. That doesn't change anything for Gara, but I've seen times where Mana Wraith just wrecks a player's turn completely. Yeah, Mana Wraith and um, the Nubian and Weblord are really the two cards that you have to consider when playing something, uh, like when you're deciding whether to play a minion after the, uh, the Pilot Shredder pops. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Doomsayer, so, Explosive and... Sheep, Unstable Ghoul are the creatures that you want to consider bef if you want to play before the Pilot Shredder pops. Wait, did that actually, that might have changed his turn a bit because now he can't play Death Lord after the Light of the Naru. <laughs> this may have changed things a bit. Oh. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Kibler throwing away the Mana Wraith as fast as he can. Actually, I don't think it did. A Consecration <laughs> is uh, just perfect. Consecration yeah. is going to be good. Do you play Mini Bot or Juggler on the back end? Or I'll just Hero Juggler. Power? I think I Juggler. I always want to play around Shadow Menace because a lot of priests will run yeah. one. I definitely agree. I think just playing it slow maybe is the best here because I think playing it fast, playing this game fast will just wreck you. You'll be you'll wreck yourself rather because your opponent has drawn so many cards. So if so he'll so he'll have so many answers to basically anything you put out. Let me be. You, could a lot actually, of this. you don't have to go for a consecrate. You could just try to gamble. With the with jugglers, jugglers yeah. <laughs> you know you have uh, you have faith where I don't. <laughs> well, double juggler and hero power—that's three knife hits, right? Yeah. And then you still have the one damage. The, yeah, that would have been possible. So, two, three hits, and then everything's just dead. I, I think this mana wraith is starting to get annoying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know for whom the most. I'm going to assume. Or priest definitely. Priest, yes. Kibler yeah. doesn't have well, to. Didn't I, really lose anything. I do think that the uh, Mana Wraith is going to get traded away here. I actually no. I was actually nope. thinking that he would actually <laughs> trade so he could play Tyrion on this turn, just so he didn't have to deal with uh, mind control on a later turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't you don't want to play into that matchup. The question is but, whether or not Gara included it in his deck. 
Because it isn't... Oh, wow. Well, it's wow and not at the same time. Mm -hmm. Still like one boom damage. bots or... Well, also... Actually, you could play your second Arcanine to get things done. Yeah. What? It's a huge waste, though. Oh, it feels like yeah. a tremendous waste. So here you play Healbot, right? Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that so one. Deal eight damage to face. Oh, well, the man. thing is, like, the circles and Organize are usually really valuable in this matchup. So I'd be kind of reluctant, reluctant to give them up. You know, one day I'm sure we will see Nefarian pop out Tree of Life. And Priest will get an actual Akunai. If Dragon Priest is a thing, that could be a reality. Yeah, I think this play kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's stable and doesn't aim to clear the board unnecessarily. Kind of weak too. Oh, wow. Well. How good is the, the equality here is pretty decent. Well, actually, it's, it's missing. No, it's not. The Death Rattles really make everything feel like complete yeah. trash. So you bomb have... hits can be really decent here. Just so you you damage. could like, you could pop the Belcher with the boom, then equality, trade two bombs away, and use your weapon on the back end if necessary. And you have the juggler as well. You can follow up with. You know, actually, I think equality is fine. It's not amazing, but I think it's okay. I think in this match, you want to save equality for a little bit later because the game doesn't end in next ten, even five turns. I would say. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, completely if it, agree. If it ended in the round within five turns, then I would say, all right, you play quality because that's the best play this turn. But the game might go on the next, I don't know, 10, 15 turns. Oh, we're oh one wow. damage. Oh, maybe it'll salvage itself. Uh, okay, just need to get a little... That wasn't a Mistress of Pain, there. and I have to say I'm disappointed. I saw 1-4, <laughs> and I was really hyped for a split second there. I was really hyped, but... It's turn 10. Yeah, no mind control, fortunately no. for Kibler. He can board clear here. Easily. Yeah, very simply. I think you have to make the call, at the very least. You have to at least clear. But... What you follow it up with is a question. Would you chill first, or do you think you will just clear here? You mean powered shield? I don't think you have to powered shield. Uh, no, I don't think there's any necessity for that. You can buffer your yeah. follow-up board a bit better with Death this. Lord. Oh, yeah. Nice. Maybe he's thinking uh, that he can draw into Shadow or Death, perhaps. Well, that in change my anything? case, I think I, I might power chill first. If I have my controls. <laughs> yeah, you wait a turn to see if you can find it. Mm. That if it doesn't really matter if you whether if you wait turn or two. Even you can't I, I will wait two turns for this. <laughs> and take like eighteen damage in the process. <laughs> oh, then get black knighted. Hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well black knight you don't think about it too much, right? All right, Maybe. so power shield on the. That's a really strong board for Gara, but he's starting to run low on cards. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, exactly. Both both players are. Uh, and and now this. Uh, wow. Bringer will get so much value. This equality is sick. Three knife hits with a death lord oh, popping out yep. something. Yeah, good thing he didn't listen to just me. Two, oh no! Oh, just yeah, two knife hits. Actually, you're oh, right, yeah, three. Yeah, third. yeah, he's gonna throw a third one here and then another one. Oh, so wow, so what a sick outcome. And what now, is. Wow. All of a sudden, it's. Uh, oh. It's actually Gara that's on the back foot. Is there any reason, by the way, to hit the Death Lord before summoning Shredder? Well, it spawns uh, something from your deck which triggers the juggler, I guess. But you could have just played the Shredder, the Shredder to do the first. Same thing. Yeah. Well, there's more of a possibility that. Yeah, wait, I guess you're right. Oh, wow, what a defensive holy fire that was. He's setting up a Nova, or at least attempting to. It's pretty obvious. Yep. I would so have... Hold, yeah, I don't know what He's, he's hoping for Kibler to extend more on the board, but unfortunately, uh, there's a lay on hands in Kibler's hand, so he actually doesn't have to extend on the board at all. He's got a he's perfect reason not even more ahead. 
Whoa, double sacrifice. That's kind of rare. And Sky yeah. Golem. Well, well kind of a uh, support control -y type of paladin. Yeah, the, like this is exactly what I was talking about earlier when I said the double Sky Golem, double Shredder with antique heal bot. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how how deep he went with the healing because we saw one lay on hands, one heal bot, but that doesn't guarantee there is more than that. All right. I think you have to take that Nova, as bad as it might seem. On, yeah. It feels horrible, but... Couldn't you just go Deathlord and... And Healbot, <laughs> yeah. Healbot or... Oh, can I ping? Uh, no, you can't do that. Deathlord, I mean... can I ping, but you can't play yeah. Valence Chosen, so... Well, we'll have to or... see. Valence chosen and then heal yourself. He's got another Zero circle, defense. right? So I think he's hoping to draw it. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing he's got another circle. Wait, so that's fine. Equality uh, makes that's this it. lethal. Yeah, that's yeah, game. That's it. Equality just makes this a complete ending. Wow. Something he didn't expect at first. Yeah, that was really uh, surprising. Second equality. Here. What a beatdown. Paladin over priest. Yeah, it's just. Even though Gara had such a good early lead with the North Shark Cleric, mm -hmm. I feel like he didn't use his cards as efficiently as he could have. And also the key was uh, the turning point, I feel like, was Dr. Boom and Tyrion being thrown down back to back and Gara not having really effective ways to deal with them. He didn't have Shadow no. of Death. No Shadow of Death, mind no mind control. Yeah, no, he basically had really to nothing. deal with them like straight up. He had to attack into them. And basically the uh, Tyrion and the Dr. Boom, they both like two or three for one. So Gar's like Gar's gonna be able to play his priest again if he wants to, and he's got a paladin on the back end. So Kibler's paladin is now locked out. He's got a priest, so it's gonna be priest versus priest and pally. So we're gonna see more of the uh, the holy fights, I guess. If you want to crusade, <laughs> crusade stream engaged, I guess at this point. Yeah. So priest from Kibler is what we're gonna see now, and paladin from Gara. So wow. we're actually gonna be able to see two completely new decks. Gar is like, okay, you beat my uh, priest with Paladin. I'm gonna show you how it's done as well. Yeah, I mean, it it might depend. Like, Paladin is a class that's very uniform, but Gar tends to take a spin on things that's us usually pretty unique. Could be Dragon One from Gar. I wouldn't even be surprised. I would not even be surprised. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I think these two players are the two players in the scene most likely to run dragon themed decks. And none of them have so far. Like, the, the decks that we've seen from now have been, like, very standard Freeze Mage, then a Control Priest hybrid, I guess, with the Light Bomb Priest, um, and then a very standard, mid, like, healing-oriented Paladin. Very Control-heavy. Yeah, it's been very, very standard. It's gonna be interesting what both of these players bring. Alright, about to get into the game here. So, Bro Kibler is the Priest, and Gaara is the Paladin. The North Shark Cleric has been found for Kibler. And Gar has a Senjin Shield Mass in his deck. A very defensive deck, Whoa. if I have to, to say something about it. I'm actually surprised on that Mulligan. Took away the Shield Mean Bot and Chester Champion. No, I think uh, those got kept as the Spectator Mode glitch. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. And Kibler playing a Dragon. Alright, we see a new Sarah. That's, that's pretty sweet. Does he dare play the does entire he... dragon? Like, does he dare? That's the question. Is it actually a uh, dragon deck or the Ethera? I don't think so. That Gibbon Starker reminds me that it's probably just a light bomb priest. Yeah. Whoa! Oh my god, Sunwalker! Gara has faced way too many face hunters recently. Sentient <laughs> Shield Master, Sunwalker. What else is coming? Winter. <laughs> so you well, definitely don't think you're a your passive turn. Yeah. Definitely you're drawing to most chosen. All right, Gar is gonna play the mini bot. <laughs> and your power. Yeah. He doesn't have any turn five play yet, because you definitely don't want to play. Over here. Or do you? No. Well, you know, the heal bot. Uh... <laughs> This Sunwalker is actually going to do so much work to this Priest. Like, how does Priest deal with a Sunwalker? At the moment, I don't think there's any way for... Like, you have to pop the shield, and Light Bomb doesn't even address anything after that point, even. Wow. 
Maybe this is one next to snipe that priest, that type of priest. Possibly. I mean, if he knew mm -hmm. Kibler was going to bring priests, then that's definitely a good call. Kibler has brought very many priests to the tournament so far. That might be the turn for Gara here. Yeah, playing the it's zombie chat. I mean, it's a board player if you play, so yeah, consecrate. You still have 2 3. So it plays around. I guess the only thing it doesn't play around is the Cabal Shadow Priest. Cabal. Now the question is do I want to give my <laughs> opponent a zombie chow to work with his Alcanize? And I think the answer is whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. Good answer. All right, Paladin Shredder. Man, that 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 Sunwalker is gonna be such a problem. Like the more mm -hmm. I think about it, this this next turn from Gara could give a headache to Kibler. Whoa! Whoa. Light. Face hunters. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, he's faced way too many of those. Or been defaced. Oh man, Sylvanas Windrunner. That's also. It would well, be that, good if the Iron Beak yeah. weren't in Gara's hand. Do you just? Pop the shield and play like and no. Shredder. Oh, I think he's thinking of uh, Holy Nova in here. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea actually, because he can heal his Belcher back to full and force a trade on the Belcher. Yeah, yeah. just judging from all these like anti aggro cards in uh, Angar's hand, I think Kibler would be favored if it goes to the late game. Yeah, I definitely but, agree with you. But we do see there's this Tyrion for Gara, and if he plays that on turn eight. Um, Kibler doesn't have like great yeah. answers. He's got Sylvana Shadow or Death to steal it, but yeah, he, but That's he might be. Good, but it, yeah, I guess <laughs> That's an okay answer. <laughs> it's it's okay, but yeah. at that time, like Gara might have other stuff on the board, right. and also he might just use Sylv his Sylvanas this turn. Yeah, he'll maybe he'll that. want to play it before he's Sarah and just get a turn sixty. So I think Light Bomb might be a consideration because that wipes the board, and then you, well, I don't know. It's it feels weak, and you give the initiative back to your opponent, but then Very you can shadow or death. Like if he plays Tyrion on Curve on turn eight, like playing Light Bomb here would allow him to kill a Zombie Chow. Then Gara drops Tyrion and Kibler takes it. Yeah, that would be <laughs> just like an forward, incredible. Though. You don't expect. No, like, Gara's not going to expect it, but I think Kibler could expect an eight drop that's pretty solid. Like this is a really slowish deck. I think a light bomb is not going to get much better unless Quartermaster comes out. Like that's about the only time where it gets better. Man, if Gara draws that Tyrion on curve, ouch. Oh man. Oh ouch. man. Well, free Tyrion for Kibler. It's pretty costly, but I mean, I'll take that. It forces the Owl yeah. and Ysera gets a free ride to the non-silence play. <laughs> well played. Thank you. Pretty sure he said well played before he used the shit word, right? Yeah, pretty like, sure. Oh, I'm just gonna out and kill it. Nope. Smell wet. Wow, double Senjin. Yo, Gara's. I, I think Kibler's played too much aggressive decks. Just too many aggressive decks in the past. Yeah. Yeah. He is known for kind of playing Mech Mage as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense from Gara. If he's targeting something specific, that does make quite a bit of sense. Someone told yeah. me Kibler brought Face Hunter to every single yeah, GPO. Yeah, he did. Until he very recent. Exactly. It's uh, it's been quite a ride. Gara has no equality consecration. Yeah, no. Having to owl you zero instead of. Oh, Tyrion, that hurts. Yeah. Well. Yeah, even double Senjin in this deck. Like we now know that this is like the most anti-aggro deck ever. Pretty much all the cards we've seen so far are anti-aggro. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, Kibler's, or rather, Scar's plan going through this this match was just to get three decks that are really good against Face Hunter. Freeze Mage, just Control Paladin, this uh, a Control Priest. All seem to be really good picks. Yeah, until <laughs> Kibler revealed his hand and there were no Hunters there. No. Yeah. I guess the Dude Slayer will start his work. Aldor, Aldor, <laughs> Peace, Aldor Peacekeeper, turn him into a Dude Slayer. That's pretty yeah, much I saw I saw that on Reddit. I know what you're referring to, Noxious. Yeah, it said like the guy made a, what's it called? The um, actual versions of cards, like what cards actually do. Yep. 
Yeah. That was pretty funny. <clears throat> Kibler has a lot of plays can make here. Cockhammer is the most strong one and most... Well, it's coming down. Well, I don't like... know if... If you wanted to use a divine shield on your Sira for three dash though, because it's yeah. very unlikely to die in any any time soon. I think it's better than using it on one damage, because like whenever the divine shield gets hit, it's still gonna get pawed by a one one. It's true. So, you're preserving yeah, a bit of health by doing so. Well, and Gara's end. It's Gara's gonna need to find right. some sick follow-ups to this, because the four twelve taunt. How are we gonna deal with that as a <laughs> Equality, that's it. That's the only yeah, out. That you don't have it. it. May not even run. If yeah. You think about it, because he's running kill, killing touch, right? Mm -hmm. Well, good news. He can kill this Tyrion. Yay! <laughs> Override the cog hammer. That sounds. That sounds like progress, right? Of of so a sort. Of a sort. I think Kibler, to be honest, he might even consider attacking face dudes. No, one of these dudes with the with the Ashbringer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's seen an owl. Do you just go all in on Isera? Oh, he doesn't. I'm disappointed. I think just killing the dude makes sense because if there were a quartermaster, then suddenly you lose Isera. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my god, he's actually doing it. <laughs> this is death by attrition. <laughs> I I can't believe what I'm witnessing right now. Hilda Yusira, Hilda Yusira. <laughs> oh no, he didn't do it. Yeah, not even committing to a, uh, the board because he's afraid of equality. Can't blame him. Well, there's his one and only threat in his deck, probably, besides Tyrion. And Kibler's gonna top deck the Shadowward Death. Or the Light Bomb number two. Oh my Nova. god. No, he's got a Cabal. Oh, take one of those Ooh. Boom Bots. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, you can just face tank this uh, Dr. Boom, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just use the Zombie Child to kill. Sounds fine by me. I... It just looks really awful for Gara. I don't know what you can top besides equality, even if he has it. Typical 7 damage. Whoa, not even sacrificing Zombie Chow there. You can top deck Deathwing. What if he has it? You're laughing now. But just you wait. Yes, an anti aggro deck that has Deathwing. Well, I mean. I live to I want to see that day. I hope I live to see it. Actually, that makes sense. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, in, in Gara actually has done that. Because when you run anti aggro deck the, and you survive until. Top turn 10, you're not gonna have anything to play anyways. Yeah. Besides those really, really heavy cars, and you're not gonna have cars to discard. You need like two cards, two threats. That's about all you need. Ah. Uh, Whoa, that's actually not is... bad at all. That's like, his True Sword Champion makes this pretty awesome. He just has to hit the Cabal Shadow Priest for three with that boom bot. You can do it. The, <laughs> the little bomb that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, little boom bot. Or the Yusira, uh, or the, yeah, or the Yusira for, yeah, for two. Yeah, two. Who did? No! The little Boomba that couldn't do anything. Well, I think, uh, right now, Doomsayer. Gar, Gar is winning, because he has more health right now. Right. <laughs> Almost. Oh, man. Almost. I think that logic is pretty even, sense, actually. Right? Yeah. That, that logic prevails up until you play three games of Hearthstone, then you're like, wait, something's wrong with the way I approach this. <laughs> Ashbringer is a perfect killer for either Sanjin or Bell. So the value that Ashbringer oh given God. Kibler is obscene. It's like feeding your opponent a gore howl, except you also lost to 6 6 in the process and had to sacrifice 17 <laughs> minions into it. It's, like, it's the worst <laughs> possible feeling. He's dying by his own cards. Sunwalker. Yep. Ashbringer. I He's obviously trying to get value out of that uh, scavenging hyena. All right, he's gonna stop oh, going through no. the motions and end the game right then and there. And that's gonna make Kibler, I think, go up three to one against Gara. So Gara's yeah, yeah. not gonna so lose this. Congratulations to Savage. To, yeah, Savit for winning this match. <laughs> <laughs> for winning this match, yes. That's taking right. it serious and taking the top five position.
Yeah, yes. that's uh, he he's effectively a reinvited for season two for sure. All the games in Group Alliance have been played. Now we have one more match, uh, for Group Horde that is Dog versus Orange. Dog versus Orange is going to be coming up next. That is going to be the second game of the day for Orange. However. Before we go into this, I just want to point out that these players are not going to get into top five no matter what they do. So this is the match of honor, if you want so, to look at it that way. In fact, we have uh, our, the top five of each group is already completely determined. From group alliance, we have Strife Crow, Firebat, and Sho, who will be going to the playoffs. Yep. And we have Tice and Savitz, who will be staying in the league for the next season. From group horde, we have Life Coach, Hyped, and Colento, who will be moving on to the playoffs. And... Um, Caldi and Trump will be staying in the league. Meanwhile, everyone else is out, including Sixo, Gara, Kibler, Frezar, and Masad from Group Alliance. I'm sorry, Masad. I think and, it's dropped out, yeah. Yeah, and Dog, RDU, Amaz, Raynad, and Orange will be dropping out from Group Horde. Yeah, so that's going to be... Uh, the next match we're going to have is going to be hopefully a nice one, out of the way. I hope the players give their best, if only for the show of it. That'd be nice. Um, but both players will unfortunately not move on. So the playoffs are going to be happening. You know, the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals will be happening on the May 8th, which is which means uh, we're still about a week and a half away. They're going to be happening in the studios at King Wind, so that should be a bigger event, if anything. But the game should be awesome because the last wing of Black Wing, uh, Black Rock Mountain, that is, will have been released. So we'll hopefully see some new decks. On this note, we'll be going for a seven-minute break and come back for the last match of the